Well, by my count, that took you long enough. We had 200 characters to collect. You were last on list. That is just the word cookie written out one, two, three, two hundred times. Two hundred cookies? How do we get him to come down, man? Leave this to me, guys. I've had experience bombing. Waka waka. No, oh, Oscar, it is. Wait, 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 look. There's a stain on his Achilles waist can, okay? We'll have to go back in time and find out how he got it. <laughs> the only power source capable of generating the 1.21 gigawatts of electricity we need is a bolt of lightning. Fortunately, here's one I prepared earlier. Oh, dear. It's working. We found his weakness. It's trash. How could his weakness be trash? He lives in trash. Oh, don't let think of a hoarder the boon. Uh, hey, hey, hey. What have I got the word garbage written on the side of me or something? It's not working. Get off it, Statue Man. What do we do? Cut to the chase, which in this case means release the not so secret weapon. I think that bacon is past its use by. <laughs> no, Pooly. It's time for my final curtain. There's so many people I want to thank. I don't want to forget anybody. Oh, Miss Quinny, no. But I'm running out of time. So I'll just limit this to the one great love of my life who stayed with me through all the ups and downs and made me who I am. Oh, Miss Quinny, you, you don't have to say... Me, Pooly. It was always me. <laughs> no! <gasps> That's exactly how it happened. <laughs> oh, come on. Hey, up or down in front? Someone always gets up during the crying scene. Sarah, do you need help finding the exit? Because it's literally everywhere. <gasps> Holy Shatner! So we should start looking at known serial killers, right? Who do we have? Hannibal, John Doe, Candyman, that guy in the Edward Munch mask. None of the crimes you're referencing actually happened. Hello. Please be realistic. This planet is home to the most unspeakably evil villains in all of fiction. Like me. I didn't say that. What made you want to be a detective, Hella? Well, it's funny you should ask that, Harpy. I was bitten by the acting bug when I was only a small demigod. Its venom is fatal to mortals, of course. She was asking me. Oh, was she? I, I just assumed the obvious. Carry on. Lord Vader. Detective Odin's daughter. Do you have hologram on your phone? That's four. Oh, come on, that's at least an eight. Four brands! Where was he found? Just floating in space. Someone must have blown him out of a goddamn airlock. I must convene the fanfic ten at once. Wally, prepare my shuttle. Directive. It's what's on the other side that's really interesting. I'm sure it is, but we're looking for clues, so let's give the man his dignity. No, his chest. <laughs> Okay, I didn't do this one. I think it was self-inflicted. There's blood under the fingernails of his right hand. Kirk was a cutter? It's usually the quiet ones. My gods! He's tried to leave a message for us before he died. And the only canvas he had was his own rapidly freezing body. Struggling artist. Looks like he didn't have time to complete it. What are you talking about? It spells ow. Why would he write ow, Thor? Well, have you forgotten the brand on his ass cheek? Ow, indeed. Why would he carve it into his own chest and cause himself even more pain? You can't impose reason on the actions of a man dying from deep space hypothermia. I'm surprised he didn't draw knots and crosses. You need to beam this body down to the crime lab immediately. No, we'll bring him down manually. We can't atomize this man for convenience's sake. I understand the gravity of the situation, but he was the captain of the USS Enterprise, and he deserves to be treated like- Smeg! 
The G unit's blown again. I swear I fixed it. Ah! Get it away from me! Ah! Actually here. Oh yeah. It's a good thing I'm in a hurry, cause this place is weightless. I wish I could help, but it looks like the tomb was an anonymous entry. Ego would tell you himself, but as you can see, he's in the middle of a session and can't be disturbed. I can tell you that it was only built about a month ago, but designed to appear older, as is the style. A month old? For a corpse that's been dead eight years? What the hell is going on? How does it work? I've never submitted a design before. Oh, it's simple. You just come to one of our self-serve brain scanners based on Wizarding World Pensieve technology. Imagine your design in as much detail as possible and Ego will do the rest. When the next slot opens up, inputting your name for attribution is optional. When I built my station, I had to register my name. So the designer must be in the system. Naturally but we've had thousands of registrations since opening. Well, get me a list of every user who registered during the time the tomb was submitted. Certainly, but you'd have to assume it was their first design in eight years. Highly unlikely. I gotta get back home. Anyone headed to Superburbia? Not me. I think they just found number five. I'm not building a mile-high statue of Thor. That was a weird thing for him to suddenly blurt out. So where's the body? Um, you're standing on it. Oh! Okay, maybe say that up front next time. Looks like he came here for a miniature picnic. How do you know he's dead and not just taking a micro nap? Because I was down there. That's how I found him. He's been stabbed in the back. How are you down there? I found this bottle that said drink me and when I drank it I shrank to the size of an insect. What, do you drink anything someone tells you to drink? How old are you? Whatever you do, don't go to that cliff over there. Assuming he was regular size when he was killed, this wound matches Hunt's. The fanfic ten must be told! We should send a raven at once. Oh, the faster. We have phones, guys. Oh, right. I, I keep forgetting about the phones. Oh, how did it get scratched? I remember this little man. He leapt into Oscar's mouth to save us from the arena. We owe him our very freedom. He deserves better than this. At least this will be one body we can easily transport. We don't have time to transport bodies. The killer's at large. <laughs> ah! Get me out of this big dead mouth! Oh. Oh. Lift me up. Oh, not familiar with that brand of footwear. Do they specialize in plus size? Wait, brand? It's the brand. Burned into his very soul. I see it. Ironically, I think body number six is taking us further down the rabbit hole. Oh, you don't want to go down there? <laughs> Sparky, what are you doing? No powers penalty. In the box. Penalty shot for the reds. It's okay, Chimmy. You got this. I think Lopper has eyes for Chimmy. Among other body parts. Oh, I'm sorry about that. His heart's in the right place. At least for now. His gesture was a little... Disarming? I guess that's something we'd be hypocrites not to encourage. The freedom to like who you like without having your future written for you. Well, you and Quill were written for each other. Well, maybe they got some things right. But it was still our choice. Of course. Please, I know what people want to ask. How do you know you're not just reacting to the false memories you've been given? I don't know. I just know that I'm happy. I don't question it. Mr. Wilson? <coughs> Miss Mantis? Hi! <coughs> hey! Did you get my letter? I didn't receive a call from you. Letter? Call from you? Oh my god, it's happening! I gave a letter to Motley to give to you. About the fight she started. Oh, a, a letter about Motley. Uh, no, I am... Wait. Motley started a fight? Uh, um, one second. Hey, honey, I'm just by myself here. How'd the Tomb Raid go? Not so great. I'm on my way back. Batman's given me a ride. Oh, I guess dreams do come true. You should toy on the news. I'm at a hockey game. How am I supposed to... Oh, never mind. Five dead. One in a state of critical disassembly. Join me at six o'clock for the full report. Or you too could die.
plug on Charles Xavier. Wasn't aware he was on life support. He wasn't. He jacked into the fake tricks. He couldn't just go in the shower. No, he plugged into the fake tricks. He was surgically fitted with a head jack about a month ago. Disgusting! That hole goes into his brain? Yes. And I resent your fake tricks phobic attitude. He was more himself after the procedure than he ever was before. Really? How's that? In the Phatrix he could walk. And with a mind like his, one day he could have flown. The thing is you can't self-insert. An operator is always required to sit here and press return slash enter. Was anyone here when you arrived? No, just him. So the killer could have been this operator, which means it's someone he trusted. Who is his main contact in the Phatrix? The following is a paid presentation from the Phatrix. Forget Nautilus! It's time to Morpheus! Just as dying in the Phatrix kills you in the real world, exercising in the Phatrix burns real calories! Take the red pill and join our 10-week training program, after which you'll be able to dodge bullets, stop bullets, fight one-handed, fight bullets one-handed, go to hell, bullets, fly, and in one specific circumstance, jump into your enemy's body and make them explode. It's excellent. These skills will not translate to reality. I see. And Xavier was on week three? He was already my top student. We called him Professor Extreme. You'll have to describe the scene to us. I don't know what I'm looking at here. What are you talking about? There's the body and there's Morpheus there! Where's he going? He's fleeing the scene! No, he isn't. He's standing still. We're fake tricks code illiterate, okay? Please just tell us what you see. It's the same jump he's made a dozen times before. Whoa. Someone must have disconnected him mid-leap. And to think, he could have been the one. I thought I was the one. There can be more than one one. There's no question. These murders are all connected and show no signs of stopping. We have to regenerate them. Oscar's Orplet is just sitting in that vault. Let's use it and be done with this. Regeneration is outlawed. By our edict, may I remind you? That law forbids the undoing of natural death. These murders are anything but natural. Undoing them may be the only way to prevent further loss of life. How close is the investigation to uncovering the killer's identity? I think those two would have a hard time uncovering a plate of sandwiches. We're lost, aren't we? The call said the body's around here somewhere. This place gives me the creeps, the willies, and the heebie-jeebies. I find it quite soothing. <sighs> so, why did you want to become a detective? Oh, now you care. Exactly. That's why I never asked before. Because of you, actually. The day you were born, our father suddenly developed conqueror's guilt and banished me for victories that he now considered war crimes. He changed the rules. I'm in this position of authority to make sure the rules don't change. The rules didn't change. People just woke up to what was always right and always wrong. Banishment can be a valuable learning experience. But aren't you forgetting that none of that actually happened? Yes, well, it still informs my sense of justice. <laughs> oh, hi there. Where's the body? I find him completely unconvincing. Unlucky number seven. What kind of monster would kill a schoolgirl? Even one imbued with the power of the moon. I've got two sets of muddy footprints that don't match hers. Has anyone else been through here? Not that we saw. You're thinking it's more than one killer? I don't know. The tracks just end. What was she doing in the uncanny valley? It's where all the cool kids hang out. Old man, how do you know where any kids hang out? Lay more cool. I'm seven, but I look a lot older. Who let the seven-year-old into a murder site? Cover your eyes, child. Ah. Guys! The fanfic channel are about to go live! You've probably heard the rumors by now. Some of you may even have been present at one of the scenes in question. It's time now to lay out the facts. 
So far, we have seven victims of murder. Ethan Hunt, Alita Battle Angel, the original Captain James T. Kirk, Scott Lang, AKA Ant-Man, the original Professor Charles Xavier, Sailor Moon, and George Clooney Batman. Most of the murders appear to have been committed within the last few days, and there's strong evidence to suggest this is the work of a single perpetrator with intent to kill again. Let it be clear, these deaths were untimely, unnatural, and against everything Fan Fictatia stands for. It is for these reasons, after much deliberation, that we have decided to regenerate the victims, learn the truth, and bring this monstrous killer to swift and resounding justice. Well, there you have it. They can't do that. They can't change the rules. Wait, where are you going? They didn't mention the boy bones. <gasps> Mom, does that mean they're going into the vault? Shh, shh, shh. Can we go there? No, Motley, sit down and finish your chimichanga. It's not fair. <laughs> Everyone, place your hand into one of the ten readers. When the door opens, I alone will enter the vault, retrieve the orblet, and return here so we can seal the door once again. Stop! In the name of the law! Uh, I'm sorry, I tried to talk her out of it. Detective, you have no authority here. This world was built on a firm set of rules. If we break those rules, this world will fall. The only threat to this world is about to be extinguished. What if this is exactly what the killer wants you to do? Enough! Show of hands! Right where we left you. What in the name of me just happened? Oh no. No. Where is it? Where's the orb? Thor, lock this place down. One of these ten characters is a killer. I believe most of us are killers. Although I'm the only one actually licensed. I mean, one of you is the killer we've been chasing. Oh. Oh my. Thank you so much for watching me this video. Artspear promised me cookie for every new subscriber. Please subscribe. And remember, Art Spear is only one, two people. The two Muppets up there. Except nobody's hand is up their ass. As a result, these videos take a long time to stitch together. So they really appreciate your patience and support. And they're ready to cook up in the morning. So please find it in your felt heart to click that magic button. <laughs> 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 Please subscribe some more. Hey, Vanellope, remember when we broke the internet? You broke the internet, Ralph. I was merely an accessory. Yeah, well, you think this video could do that? Not a chance. Not even trending? Ralph, I'm not gonna sugarcoat this. This video couldn't break a finger now. Oh, man. Well, in that case, I'm gonna wreck it. Ralph!